What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And today, we're going over a product that a lot of you guys have asked about. This is what's on Moose's Stevens. I got one myself. I'm gonna show you how to put it on, how to use it, why we like it, etc. So stay tuned. Okay, so this right here is the comb raisin kit. This is the 2.0 from Beartooth Products. Now what this is, is it goes on your stock and you have a bunch of different sized pads you can slide under the actual riser. So of course this goes, you know, matches your firearm. And on the inside of this is rubber, so it's gonna grip right to your stock. But what you do is you take these different pads, they're in different sizes, you take them, you put them in, and uh, as you can see, clear firearm. You would put it on here, and then you get the pads to where you have a dead anchor that looks straight through the reflex. So that is what it's for. Now to do that, now real quick before you put this on, this does have a slit in it. That is the bottom of the product. That's so your sling swivel goes through so you don't have any issues. So that'll poke through. So just note that. Okay, now to install this, the instructions tell you as this does have a neoprene rubber back, you want to flip it inside out. Make sure you have your slot down. I'll tell you what, on these Stevens, it's an absolute pain. I would actually tell you to take this off. There's two screws. Unscrew that, then slide this on. Don't do it the way I just did it. It is a pain in the butt. So just unscrew your, your recoil pad, and then put this on, then screw the recoil pad back into place. But now, I just gotta keep working this down. That's also watch that stud. There we go. Now this comes back over. So you're essentially flipping it over. There you go. So that's on. That's no padded at all. That's just on here. Still can get to my sling swivel. And now we can see we gotta we gotta put a pretty good pad in there. So I'm gonna pretty much eliminate the eighth inch. And I'm just going to go to this pad. I don't know, it's the second biggest. Now to do the pad, they say to curl the top edge. So curl this. Then you can see how it goes. This pad will go forward. So you got to curl it to where it will actually fit on the firearm. All right, so that is a real big pain in the butt, not gonna lie. But now you can see it's set in there. It goes right behind this, right there. Hooks right in, then you can see the pad. I actually have it positioned so it's rolled towards my cheek. So when I come up, my cheek's right on it, and that way I have a perfect anchor point. It's just like when you're bow hunting, you want to come and anchor in the same spot. When you're shooting your gun, you, I like having a perfect anchor. That way you know you have a true zero. Um, so this is a cheap way. I mean, there is other mounts on the market. You have your Sum Toy, you have your EGW. Uh, you can get a lot of those. Right now, EGW is sold out for Hollow Suns. I moved the 407C. Uh, this is the Gen 1. It was on my Stevens 410 move that on here as this is going to be my main turkey gun this year so i'm rolling with hollow sun but you can see right there it's on it's actually the second biggest pad i needed and it's dead perfect so when i pick up there's my anchor there's my dot now i got to zero this in to this as this will be my true anchor point so that's just a quick video uh going over the bear tooth products comb raisin kit 2.0 it's now when this gets wet i will say this when it gets wet you have to remove this let it dry out wipe the stock off and then put it back on so that is a note to be had 
I think an easier option would be the EGW or the sum toy mount, but if you can't get them and your season's coming and you, you're like me, you want to anchor, the Beartooth products is a $20 fix. And I mean, you have all different size pads to adjust to whatever you're rolling with optic wise. So I really like this. This is 100% better. And I uh, can't wait to get this hollow sun zeroed in and put some patterns on paper and then get this down in Kentucky and then West Virginia. So like I said, just a video on the Beartooth products, comb raisin 2.0 kit. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description. We're not affiliated with them. It's just Moose got one. He really likes it. I shot his gun a couple times. I really like it as well. It's just, it's hard to, it's hard to beat a true anchor and not having to switch out the rail for another mount is pretty nice. So we're going to roll with it this season. We'll see how they do. And uh, just sucks when they're, every time they get wet, you got to take them off. So maybe I'll just take the 410 when it rains and leave this girl at home. But as always, guys, make sure you smash the thumbs up button for your boys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I know the audio is a little funky on this video. Uh, my mics are actually at my girlfriend, so rolling with a single mic, so it's going to be mono audio for those who listen in stereo. That's why it's different. Only got the one mic today. But, guys, as always, I hope you're having a good day. If you can hunt turkeys, your, se your season's in. I hope you're having a good season. If you guys are having success, make sure to go down in the description. Go to the Blue Collar Outdoors Pattern Boys page and share your pictures, share your setups, all the good stuff. We love hearing the stories and we love seeing it. So make sure you go down in there, become a member, share it. Hopefully we see you in there and we catch you on the next video. As always, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and we'll catch you on the next one.